Hey guys, welcome back to HammerChoice.net. This is Raju, and today I've got another Android One or One for you guys. Now, obviously, in order to get this working, you're going to need to install Chrome. Um, that's the Google Chrome browser. So just do that first, and everything should be okay. So um, the application I'm going to be reviewing is uh, Chrome to Phone. I'm going to show you how it works and what you can do with it. Um, it, re it does some really amazing things. Um, quite useful as well as well so um, it can come in handy um, firstly I'm going to show you how to install it and activate it so what you need to do is go to the Chrome web store as you can see here and you've got to install an extension called Chrome to phone so I'll just type that in and search it and you can see it here um, you don't have to worry it's, not, it's free so you don't have to pay anything just click add to Chrome and install just give it a couple of seconds and you can see something appear here so I've got a little icon appearing here it's a phone with a little arrow on it um, you want to click that and then sign in now I'm already signed in so it's just asking me um, to grant access I'll just do that and basically you're ready now what you have to do is install the Chrome 2 phone application on your phone um, so let me just get out of that Now here you can see the Chrome to Phone application in the Android Market. I'm just going to click Install and choose the device I need to install it to. And that's my Galaxy S2. Give it a second. Now that's installing on my device. And it's done. You just go into the application. And you just got to agree to a few terms. Click Next. Choose the email account that you use and allow the permissions and I, I always keep it on automatically launch links because it's a lot more easier than having to you know manually accept something so just click next and then finish it and you're done and you can get out of that so I'm going to show you how it works really now um, let me get out of this so let's say you're on a website you really like it um, you could be in an article like this <coughs> And now let's say you don't have the time to read it on your computer. You might want to read it on your phone. Um, typing in the URL into the browser might take a bit of time. So all you have to do is just simply click this icon here and it should push the website to your phone wirelessly. Let's say send it to phone and it's sent to phone. And you can see right now it's loading up that same article, that same URL and you're ready to read it. You can save it as a bookmark or do whatever you want with it. Um, so that's pretty useful. Uh, let me show you another example what you could do with this. Now if I go into a YouTube video, you can see here our Galaxy S2 unboxing which we did some while back ago. Uh, if I click on the link now, it should open up the YouTube um, application on the phone and start that same video. Hopefully it works. Well, it's asking me how I want to launch it. Do I want to launch it using the browser? But I'll set YouTube as the default. And you can see that same video will actually load up on your phone so you don't have to go search for it well, let's get out of that let me show you a few more examples so let's say you're in a map and you set up a few directions for yourself in this example I've set up um, Paddington to Regent's Park and you know obviously I know how to get there but um, let's say you didn't uh, you just click that icon again and it should load up maps on the phone with those directions You just click get directions and then you've got to choose what you want to do if you want to take the car or transit let's just click on um, walking and click get directions no route found a bit odd but um, it thinks I want to go to Regents Park in Australia um, you, you sort of get the gist of how it works but in this case it's acting a bit odd let's move on to a different example and this one's quite useful actually so let's say you're in a website or a shop and you need the telephone number rather than you know looking at the telephone number and manually like typing it into your phone what you do is select the number that you want to dial like I've done here and then click on the icon and it should automatically dial it for you as you can see right there it's dialed the number for me you simply just have to press call so that's another useful feature but there's still something else Let's say you find an interesting article on the web and you want to 
send it to your friend or you know using text or you want to email it um, what you can do is just select the text that you want to copy so let's say I want to select that not all that just that and I want to send that to one of my friends uh, once you've selected it you just click on the icon again and it should copy it to the clipboard on your phone so that's done so let's go into but you can see it says uh, copied desktop clipboard uh, you just go into messaging and let's say you start a new message you simply just paste and what I selected on the PC you can see it's now pasted onto the device so there's some quite few um, you know um, good features from Chrome to phone um, I haven't seen a lot of people uh, using it but it's definitely interesting and it helps me out a lot give it a go just follow my guide and you should be fine anyway this was Raju from memojoys.net take care